Okay, this is uh, LRC part two. Uh, for this first step, is for people that you know didn't get their mapping right or they're not sure. Well, this is how you would check it. Now go back to that site that I said was at LRC.org, and look for your brand and model. All right, and just copy a template that maybe is similar to your um, remote. Uh, you know, make sure the buttons are right and all that. But basically, what we did last time was uh, we pasted in our lircd.config and in here was our mapping for our remote right you know we have the names and all that and all you really gotta do is actually um, you know change some of this um, keys here you can name the keys whatever you want but you know make sure it's the same as on your uh, remote okay and these are um, the infrared codes and to figure that out is basically use the command that we used last time Let's see what we had last time. Open a new terminal here. And we're going to run that command again. IRW. Alright. And this is where you just look it up. Uh, so now use your remote again and just push the buttons that uh, you want to see. So if I push A here, you'll see that it's the same code as, as these. Alright. So this is A, you know, it has 14D5. And uh, there you go, 14D5, same shit, but it has a, a prefix 0x, so you gotta put the 0x in, and basically that's how I would map it. There is another way, but I don't like the other way, uh, it didn't work anyways, so I don't want to mention that. Um, but that's how you would check it if it's, uh, if it's right. And as far as this part up here, I guess you just you know go to their site and, a, and grab a template for this. And the name, just make sure, is uh, the name of your remote. All right, and that's going to be important later. And so are these uh, keys here, because that's how you're going to map it to, um, you know, different programs that you're using. Uh, so that is only for people that didn't get uh, the remote uh, correctly. Uh, so this next step is um, the continuation here. Okay, so open up your home folder and uh, make a file called. Uh, uh, L A R C R C, okay, dot L A R C R C, exactly like that. And inside it, well, I organize it a little bit differently, and I just, you know, point it to somewhere else. Uh, this is just to be organized, okay. So I just put include uh, the path of the folder of the program, uh, you know, where I map my keys. So I, I point it to there, and I'll show you where I have it. <laughs> I have it in here, all right. So these are all my uh, files for uh, different programs. So for this example, I'm gonna say uh, Rhythm Box. Now make sure your programs uh, has an LIRC plugin for it. If it doesn't have that, um, that's gonna be in the next video. But uh, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's see. Open Rhythm Box here. So make sure your program has a uh, plugin for LIRC right here okay so make sure you have that uh, for this step so with that you can actually do is um, this this is how it starts out with okay you have a begin code and you have an end code and the program you want to use is the program um, that has the LIRC plugin so program equals rhythm box the remote is the ATI remote that I have which uh, you know I told you that earlier and the buttons are corresponding to um, the same thing as the mapping. So play. And I configure it to play and pause because you know when you push play and you push play again it pauses it. So it's the same thing down here and a little bit different for the forward and all that. Uh, but uh, all you gotta do is, uh, is remember the buttons that you have in your uh, remote. Let's see the other one. All right? These are the buttons. Let's make sure those are the same. Uh, so that's pretty much it for that and now you can use your uh, remote to control the program now for the next video is for you know programs that doesn't have an LRC plugin for it uh, you have to use this other program and that's for the next video so that's pretty much it for this one